Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a new art journal page. I'm using the Artisa gouache paints today to create my background. Artisa was so kind and sent me the gouache paints to try them out. I have almost never worked with gouache paints before, just one or two times in my art journal and I am really curious to try these out. The colors I picked today are light apricot, peach red, yellow ochre, Prussian blue and sap green. I add them to my plastic palette. I'm thinking about filling an empty watercolor box with these paints. Today I will just play with them and see how they work and how the colors look like. Gouache paints are kind of a mixture of acrylic paint and watercolors. Um, they have more opacity than watercolors and more uh, from the texture they have more of an acrylic paint, but they are water soluble even when they are dry. I get myself two cups of water, one to clean my brush and one for the clear water to pick up the paints. I wet my page before I start adding the paints and I have also chessoed it before because I don't work on a perfect paper. I will definitely try these paints out on watercolor paper the next time. I just add the colors randomly. It's kind of an intuitive or journal page today. I received many comments on the video I did about a week ago that you really like the real-time videos and I think most of you prefer them and I was very happy to read your lovely comments. Thank you for that. And so I have decided to always go with real-time videos. I just speed up some boring processes or I cut out drying time or things like that. So if this video is a little bit too slow for you, you can use the little gear on the bottom right corner and speed it up.
As I told you before, the colors are water reactive when they are dry, so I want to give the background a little more texture. So I'm spritzing water onto it and I let it sit for a few seconds and then dry it off with a tissue. I repeat this process because I really like the result. These colors dry really quickly and when the background is completely dry, I go in with some white acrylic paint. I use my finger to apply it and I just add it to some areas. When you add more layers in your artwork, you get a more dimensional effect and it creates a lot of more interest. You have to be a little bit careful not to smear too much because you will reactivate the gouache paints underneath. I do some mark making by scribbling with a pencil into the wet paint.
When everything is dry, I go in with a big wet brush and just draw some stripes all over my page. This reactivates the gouache paints that are not covered with acrylic paint and add a little bit more interest and texture to my page. Unfortunately, my camera stopped recording. After I dipped off the water from my page, I added in a little bit more of the blue gouache paints. Now I go in with a black watercolor pencil and I dip the nib into water so I get a dark black line. I scribble it all around over my page. Adding black to this page gives it a lot more contrast and this makes also a page more interesting. It's time to do some stamping on the background and of course I'm using my stamps. This is the circle from the Grungy Stuff stamp set. I'm using black archival ink to stamp it. And I always stamp images I'm using on my page twice or at least twice, sometimes three times or more, because I think when you have some repetition it makes a page even more interesting. In this case I decided to stamp my circle three times. I am just not sure at the moment where to put it. I used the star stamp from the same set to add some background texture. I also use some of the borders from the Grungy Borders stamp set and I pick the stitch lines and add them randomly to my page.
I also picked the Pingo card stamp set from our Wannabet stamp set and stamp it into the inside of my circles. All the supplies I've used are listed in the description box. One thing I love to do is add splatters to my page. In this case I'm using white ones. And I've made my own white acrylic ink by mixing white acrylic paint, airbrush medium and water. I am stamping my main image onto watercolor paper using the Distress Oxide Mermaid Lagoon. I am using the stamp platform because I want to stamp the butterfly twice. After I have wet this one I will stamp it with black archival ink again. Distress Oxides are water reactive. I've cut out the butterfly, but before I adhere it to the page, I will add some more stamping and also a piece of black thread. For the title I pick a sticker from a Tim Holtz sticker sheet.
To finish up the page, I'm adding some light olive green splatters with Amsterdam ink. I don't like the big green splatter I've created so I'm using a baby wipe to remove it. I also add some black splatters. Here is my finished page. I hope you enjoyed the video today and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you next time. Bye!